Welcome to the I Get Chem channel where we help you learn chemistry the easy way by showing you how to do problems. This is another video on our Fundamentals of Quantum Mechanics series. Um, and this problem is another illustration of what a eigenfunction, eigenvalue, eigen equation actually means. So let me read the problem. Uh, it says the function f, x, f of x equals to 3x squared minus 1 is an eigenfunction of the operator a equals to negative parentheses 1 minus x squared times d squared dx squared plus 2x d dx. And so the problem asks you to find the eigenvalue corresponding to this eigenfunction. So this is another simple problem illustrating what an eigen equation actually means. So uh, as you remember, an eigen equation is one where if there is a linear operator L operating on some function for special functions of this particular linear operator, it's possible that the operator operating on f actually gives back the same function f but multiplied by some constant. So you have to understand that this equation means that f is a function of x, so same thing. And on both sides of this equation, the two f's are the same function. Uh, but lambda is called the eigenvalue. And the eigenvalue lambda is a constant. That is, it is not a function of x. And this uh, operator L is just, in general, some linear operator. So, uh, of course, uh, if you just take some operator, operate it on some function f, it's certainly going to change the function. So, uh, it's unlikely that if you take an operator and you take just any random function, it's going to give you back the same function when L operates on F. So for every operator L, there are only a special set of functions that would actually satisfy this so-called Eigen equation. And those special functions that actually satisfies this Eigen equation are called the eigenfunctions of the op operator L. And associated with each one of these eigenfunctions, there is also the special value of the eigenvalue for that specific eigenfunction. Okay, so with that as a background, let's take a look at the problem. So uh, specifically in, that, in this question, the operator that we have for this problem, A, is uh, 1 minus x squared with a minus 1 on the outside d squared dx squared plus 2x d dx so that is the operator we are talking about you act you're not actually asked to solve the eigen equation you're actually given the operator you're also given a specific function which you are given that it is an eigenfunction of this operator A, and the eigenfunction here is f of x equals to 3x squared minus 1. So all you really need to do is to operate A on f and find out whether it is in fact f, and then you have to find the eigenvalue that actually fits the eigen equation. So that's not too difficult. Uh, a has uh, two derivatives that you have to perform on the function f. So let's write that down first. So A operated on f of x is just 1 minus x squared d squared dx squared plus 2x d dx. And this whole thing operates on the function f which is 3x squared minus 1. So again, you notice that there are two derivatives that we have to perform, the first and the second derivative. So let's do those first, because we can just put those into the equation. So first of all, d dx 
of 3x squared minus 1. Pretty easy, just 6x. And then d squared, dx squared, 3x squared minus 1 is just d dx of 6x. And that is also simple, so it's just 6x. So if we put all of that in, we will find that the first term is minus 1 minus x squared multiplied by d squared dx squared of f, and that is just 6. And then the second term gives you 2x df dx, which is 6x. So a operated operated on f give you, gives you that. Uh, so you can just expand everything. Minus 6 plus 6x squared plus uh, 12x. That's equal to minus 6 plus 18x squared. I forgot it too, right there. And so you can see that this is basically just 6 times uh, 3x squared minus 1. So clearly, this function right here, this um, whichever is in the parentheses, is just f of x. So you see that a operated on f of x gives you back f of x, but multiplied by this constant 6. So the eigenvalue for this particular eigenfunction, lambda, is equal to 6. Okay, so that's just a, another simple illustration of what an eigen equation and the eigenfunction and the eigenvalues are. So um, if you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel, and we will have uh, many more examples of different types of problems in quantum chemistry coming up very shortly.